Good evening. I should be sleeping. Two o'clock in the morning. Maybe I'm not sleeping because I'm in the mood for a cigarette. But the last couple of days I'm feeling a little bit weird. And I'm thinking that it may have something to do with the gravitational pull. Not the gravitational pull exactly. Um, you see, I don't know exactly how it works. But it comes from within the gravitational pull. And it's weakening. Okay, and that's when they speak about the reversal. This doesn't come from, <clears throat> from me, the information. This comes from online. Okay, but I trust what I read because I read, I read about the things I read. I look back a little bit in history. So anyways, what happens is, whoop, is this. Okay, this is what's happening to the earth. You see this line? This is the one, two, three line, okay? The, 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 the point here in the center, okay, is the two beta. Anyways, what I'm doing a level as is the line over here, okay, is the equilateral line. It's the equator, okay? The equator, whoop, I'm sorry, I'm upside down the wrong way, the picture, right? The equator, you see the way it cuts through man's stomach? and man's knees, okay? But this way, okay, it takes from his belt and above, and the other way, it's from the center and below. And what I'm going to show you is, the reason I'm showing you this is if you take a look, it's a V, which means in Roman numerals 5. This V has two, one line on it, 5, and the one line is 6. This is the division line. Okay, if you hold it this way, it actually looks like two arrows pointing at each other. Okay, X Man is created, okay, by the four particle angel go going through the five hole. Okay, in standard they call it 4554 because it's the fox hole connecting the one fox to the 56 wolf. Okay, which is something I want to talk about. And I didn't write this all down, but if you take the um, if you take the um, word for it equals to a 60 letter count if you take the word two it equals to a 58 letter count two is the world of beta two four six eight okay we are not the eight we live in the eight our bodies are the eight our soul body um that's the eight. The inner mind is the eight. We're not the eight. We're the nine birth, living in the eight heaven. But we don't know actually what the eight is in our head. So that would be 58, and 60 would be 118. Eight, one, and one equals 10. One plus zero equals one, equaling to the one spirit. But there is something I wanted to explain to you at four. You see, because four has a 60 letter count, just the word value as a number is for itself. So from four, it already says 64, if you understand what I'm saying. Just like the word six, if you do the letter position count as S19, I9, X24, you get a total letter count of 52, which is the noted passage of beta, okay? And turn it around, it's a quarter. It's one quarter of man. It stands for the heart. Okay, uh, it's at the same time it stands for the, um, uh, is it the earth? 5, 6, 24, 34, 44, and 852. Yes, the heart, earth, and a bunch of things. That number stands out for. So 6 plus the 52, okay, as the letter count, and the number equal 58. The total letter count of 2 beta. And that's what it actually is. It is the two beta. It's us part of beta, okay, and the earth, the two beta. There's two dice cubes, okay. There is no eight. It's one to six, and once you flip that dice over, what was at the bottom is now on the top, and it never, re never removes from one, two, three, A, B, C. The only things in seven, eight, and nine are your toes and your feet are in the gates of the heavens of birth.
walking on the ground. That's where you come from. That's where the portal was to come into this world through birth, eating the food of the planet. Um, the other thing I want to show you is number seven. See number seven? If you had to straighten this arm, it would straighten to a 90 degree bend. This arm over here is a 45 degree bend. If, if this line was extended all the way up, it would be 45 degrees from 12 or 135 degrees. Okay, from here, from the top all the way down. First you pass 90 degrees, 135. 135 means the one creation of the five spirit. Okay, the, or the five passage because the ace has the dot in the center. When you throw the dice, so one dice is the dot in the center. It's the five position. It's the seventh gate of the ninth passage into the eight heavens of the beta world. So anyways, doesn't it look like a seven if I sort of tilt it this way? Isn't it like a seven? Okay, because seven and one create um, 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 uh, an illusion. But it's an illusion that's so real that you'll think it's not an illusion. So I'm going to get a piece of paper out over here, and I'm going to try and write this down. So what would you say this was? It's an upside down seven and a one. Pretty simple. In one, in one here, you have one, four, seven. Not only that, to simplify it, on the left side of your calculator or on your telephone, this is the order from top to bottom. One and seven are spirit of the seventh gate into the four heaven. What the four heaven actually means, if you take a look at the dice, only the four, five, and six dice have four corners. The only difference between the two dice, okay, is the dot in the center, which is the spirit dot, which connects both sides. You see the six dice, I know I'm jumping all over again, but the, um, the six dice, where, where's my dice? The cat's knocked all my dice on the floor. Um, okay, anyways, the six dice, if you notice, there's a column here and a column here, but there's nothing in the center. They're separated. That's why when we say one spirit creation of three, one, two, three on your telephone, okay, it's because there's three dots of this island. And then if you put a dot in the center of it, and then you got three more islands, making it the six, making it boxcars. Okay, all you have to do is flip the dice over, and you can see the dot, the seventh dot is on the other side. That takes action inside the cube. Thus and therefore, if this was our life, it would be our heart, okay? And our heart, okay, if I think right, is um, 60 degrees, okay, above the equator in our bodies. Um, my number is, um, I, how can I explain it? Um, if the belt line, okay, of the picture I just showed you. Where's the picture I just showed you? Okay. The reason for this, okay, I want to help you to understand. If you ever look at the, the cards, okay, they're not square. They're higher. There's more than one world in the cards, okay? And only the six card, okay, the seven card, the eight card, okay, are the only cards with the two dots in the center of the card in the area where it would support the ace dot like on the ace card well there would be a dot to the left and a dot to the right only six seven and eight no other cards do that and the four five six seven eight nine and ten are all supported by four corners and it starts after the ace deuce and three the ace is in the center, the deuce is up and down, and the three is the added ace to three. Then we start the game. First we start creation. We showed you in the cards. We aligned everything on the three card in the middle. So if you want to know where the numbers 
2, 5, and 8 came from, it's because of that replica. That's the center between the left side and the right side of the cards. That is the spirit of freedom mark, okay, which is represented as um, 5 or 555. And you can go for the totality of 5555. And the reason for that is, um, how can I explain it, is um, there's, you can go this way, this way, and this way in this world. There's six ways to go in this world, and then there's six ways in the spirit world. But the four corners are the same in which way you can go this way and this way. The X is the same, except in, the, in our world we go east-west. The energy of the angel comes from north-south. When that energy comes from um, the north to the south, okay, that creates the letter I. That's how we become the letter I. We are the I in the Christ. I am so sure of this. This is insane. I'm just having so much trouble putting my stuff together and coming on and explaining it. Okay? There is no six day. It doesn't exist. It's a three day and a one day. And you take the dice and you put them next to each other and they start to show you some kind of formation of some kind. And the reason I can't tell you exactly what kind is because nobody's actually asking me any of the questions. If they had asked me a question, I would create a story according to what I see in the dice, knowing uh, more. My, I don't know what everybody knows. So unless the question is asked, I, I cannot search the question because I do not know the question of others. Okay. Um, what else can I do? Uh, another thing, if you ever see number one, on the back of the bill, of the American bill, it says number one. The letter count for number one is 34. That is one of the major, okay, like I just told you, the three dice, if you take it and hold it sideways. If you took the three dice, maybe I'll take it. I got dice all over the house. Where is it? See the three dice? This is the way it goes. This is what they call a beta three. Alpha, beta. This one will create the X, but this one creates a cross. Why does it create a cross and the other one an X? Because when you hold the dice, right? You see here's the cross straight down. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, See the cross? Wait a second. It's not a cross. It's an X. This is standard for everything. Okay? This corner is chopped off. Sometimes you're only going to see three points. One of the reasons for three points also, okay, is because you cannot... See where the arrow is? You can't... You see this east-west? You cannot go north-south. Otherwise, this one cannot move. You jam it, okay? They're next to each other, and they're, or they're over and under each other like discs, discs, and uh, and and um, and uh, beta cassettes. And one of the reason for that is because the angel resident letter R, okay, creates the beta cassette right here. Here's an R. You see the R? And then the line, it's because they're two back to back. So they join each other. Okay. Then I put one here, one here, and one here. And I, I already did this a couple of times already, but I'm not quite sure what's showing up on my on my little uh, videos. Okay. After I do this, if you look closely, okay, it is the tic tac toe board. It is also like a little dog. But anyways, it's also, if you take a look at this arm here, the V here, and the arm over here, because I'm not perfect, makes the letter M. There's four corners and four M's, totaling to 4,000. Okay? This will give you a total of 6,000 of usage, because the rest of the 2,000 is in here in the circle. Why? Because east versus west. M and M. 
Yeah, I'm going to show you M and M, East versus West. Back to back M's create the diamond center, okay, which goes over here. So there's six M's that created this in Roman numerals 1,000, 6,000. Do you want to know where the uh, other 225 years are in the Hebrew calendar? Um, you have nine squares, okay? 25 years each equals 225. Why 25? Because it's the number of the beta pass. It's also the beta ohms five, okay? That creates the X or the cross. There's a lot, a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. And in order for any of this, um, okay, yeah, I told you something and I didn't show it to you. The the M here, and here's the game of where we are in the center right there. Okay, the all-seeing eye. And if you look at Monopoly money, the all-seeing eye is on the Monopoly money. Um, should I leave it at this? Um, I did a bunch of stuff. Not sure where it is. Pretty much tired. Um, computers definitely have been here a long time. A long time. There's too many things that are too perfect. For four to be the letter count of 60 and then add the four back to it as the, as the number value equal to 64, which is a 10 count. Four and six, is, is which is the angle of man. Add the eleven, the one value to it. It makes it eleven. Spirit, angel, and man. Anyway, before I go, I'm still watching those uh, Ron Paul tapes. Ron Paul, Ron Paul. For those uh, in America who know what it means to protect the uh, sec the the rights of the freedom, you must protect them. Secondly, this world is disgusting. I'm really pissed off at everybody. This is it's just. Utterly, utterly disgusting how long um, we've been fooled. We have been fooled in every way, in books, in movies. Um, we have been fooled, but at the same time, we have been fooled. We have been unwise. And the reason for that is because um, if you believe in God at all, God always said like this, God always said like this, if something goes up, okay, something else is somehow going down or to the side, okay? So we had to see that, look the way we dress. We dress so nice in Europe, in France, Europe, and we dress so nice in Canada and America. Go look what they wear, the, the schmatas that they wear, rich and poor. That's what life's really supposed to be like. That's why the Mennonites are like that. That's why the Amish are like that. We have been fooled, not them. We have been fooled, not the Amish. When you pass by and say, hey, he didn't get electricity yet. He doesn't want to be part of the system. This is supposed to be man's world. It's not a world that's owned. Every territory has to be taken care of, not to be profitized. The numbers I've been seeing in the last seven years and what went on in my life, and I felt a great, I knew I had to come on because I feel it. I'm feeling that shift, okay? This is also true. God wrote the best book in the world, right? Do you know why God wrote the best book in the world? Because every single movie and every single song you've ever heard, God wrote them all. So if you've ever loved anything, God created it. So whatever you're going to love, you love God's creation. But because he's not here right now doing something for you, he's already done what he needs to do for you. Now you have to figure out what to do for yourself. We must stick together. We must learn our laws. And this is not only for Canada, I said. This is for all over the world. America's in 130 different countries with their armies that they don't even own. Why are these army people still listening? What is going on? Something is wrong. I'm going to tell you one thing, and this is probably something, but definitely the U.S. Army will split in two. There's no way any person 
okay, in today's era, okay, with the internet that's going on, okay, can can just go ahead and keep taking lives and lives of other people. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, imagine this. Imagine the Illuminati uh, okay, has an army of 10 million. Okay, let's say just 10 million. I don't know if that's a lot. I don't know much about the army. Let's say they got 10 million. You know what? Let's buff it up, okay? Let's buff it up. There's two dice cubes. Let's say they got 10 million for each cube. They got an army of 20 million, okay? There's 7 billion people on this planet. When you know they've turned against us, it's then we join. We cannot join before. It's against the law. Can't join before. So the only thing I can do is bring my mouth out here and speak. And this is what I have to say. And I appreciate it. Anyways, back to on the back of the one, okay, on the one dollar American, it says one on it. That stands for seven. It also stands for 34. And the value number is 35. Three and five is the eight. The back of the bill is the eight heaven. So there's two sides to the one bill. Okay, because they wrote it. Just marking that one, the back of the bill says the eight heaven. What they're going to do is on the front of the bill. Okay, bend in the corners or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, a bill, okay, is like a card. You're not supposed to hold a, a, a bill this way. You're supposed to hold a bill this way. Because God was fair when he dealt the cards to us. We were able to hold the cards open and look at them. We're not holding the money straight. There's there's some sort of um, of how can I say it um, code inside of it. That's why I can't explain it. I don't know everything. All I know is, like I said, I'm feeling there's a shift. Okay, I was given this ability, whatever ability it is, putting in thousands and thousands of hours of work, just trying to connect one dot to the next dot. Did you know the letter F? creates the three on the dice. Did I show you that one already? I don't like this pen. But I'm going to just take this. The Illuminati, okay? The Illuminati. F and F. Six and six. The Illuminati, okay, have on the sides of the stones three and three because it's the center dot that connects the other two dots. And this dot gives us a right to connect with what's be beside it and what's on each side. This dot can connect east-west or, or on an angle this way or straight up and down in the center. That dot can do anything it, you, it wants. Because that dot is not an ordinary dot. What that dot is, okay, is the exact image of the world we live. We live from two created worlds, okay, of six, two Mug and Dovids. From the Mug and Dovids, okay, before they were even created, it was a square. When you chop the corners off the square, you end up with the octagon. And that's the world we live in. We live in an eight horned world with the spirit nine okay maximum that you can go in this world is nine and that is birth and after birth it's death and then you go back to zero again because zero is all about love okay Ron Paul must win it doesn't mean we're safe okay let's not be stupid now the question is be stupid about what I'm not planning to do anything I just need to get the word out, and my sa safety hopefully rests upon others collecting information that I can look into and maybe talk about and see what we can get out of it. Um, um, hmm, what am I thinking now? Hold on, I think I got a phone call. Where is it from? Hello, phone call coming in from the grave. Hey, Ronald, there's a phone call coming in from you from heaven. You got to go down to go up, right? Um, anyways, um, there's just so many things to to design and 
I think we're going to have to stop it. Where can I stop it? We already went over the, um, give me uh, the Illuminati number 322. Three is actually a four. Okay. Two is actually a five. So Illuminati 322 is actually 455, which means the angel, which means the angel freedom. Okay, what does it exactly mean? Um, well, first of all, four is the highest number you can get without doubling it and not going over a single digit value. So you cannot use five. Five is the passage and our life. Man is a one five six. Angel is a one three four angel. We live in the five passage. And if I'm so sure we are either on Jupiter, okay, or we're on Saturn. And I, it keeps pushing me that we are minus actually one because we are six minus one makes us five because we're living on a borrowed time, also a borrowed spirit. Just like the Roman numerals 4 and 6, if you put it together, it makes the letter M. So now I'm going to have to rethink and rehash what I just said. Okay. Oh, I have the video if it, if it, if it adds up. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so the Illuminati number would actually be 455. Five. Now, if you would multiply 4 by 55, because they're a pair, it would come out to 220. Then you multiply 2 by 20, it comes out to 40. Now you have a single digit. That 40 are the 40 years since the Israeli war, since the 400 years of bondage, since because the 40 is actually 4x. Because it's, it's the angel 4 in the spirit world, okay, that comes into our world, which is the x world. So that would be 40. And each corner has a value of 10, making that 40. And there's 40 squares on the Monopoly board. Um, our eye vision is 20, 20, and that's another 40. 20 in, 20 out. Anyways, I'm going to stop. I lost what I was looking for, but that's okay. Raphael 7286, I have a ton of information. Computers existed many, many years ago. There is a creator out there for us. And if there's bad, there is good. So we will await. I wish you all good luck, my friends. Be well, and vote Ron Paul for the justice of peace. If Ron Paul does not come in, we are in dire straits, meaning there's like no way out. Unless, of course, of course, how strong are these good people and how smart? And according to the movies, the good always win, right? We just got to go through hell to get there, right? There's nothing like... Get, like, how can you say it? There's nothing like drumming out a win. But this is our lives. This is sick, my friends. This is real sick shit. Oh, my God. FEMA camps. FEMA camps. Making profit. We are paying for somebody to hold prisons over. For people we don't even get to... Raphael 7286. I've said enough and I've said too much. Thank you.